I was starting. Oh, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> ah, okay, I'll edit that part out. Um, <coughs> we can restart. Don't worry. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your boy, the Mad Guy T. And since this is the first video of the year, uh, let me just firstly start by saying. Happy New Year! I hope everyone's gonna have a good New Year and I hope everything that you're planning to achieve, you will achieve it and let's do this! Let's uh, continue shooting more videos, answering more questions and build this relationship that you guys have with me. I'm so sorry I'm not very consistent with uploading videos. I'm going to change that. So, judging by today's title, you've seen should you do a BSc in Biological Sciences in order to get into medicine? That's the big question. That's the big question that a lot of people have asked me on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. So I thought maybe we should do a video about it and explore it because I feel like for the longest time we have told people to do a BSc in order to get into medicine. And I feel like that's not very accurate because people feel like that's the only degree that they need to do in order to get into medicine. Well, the beauty of studying in South Africa is that you can get into medicine straight from matric. But for those people who can't get into medicine from matric, they have to find other alternatives in order to get into medicine. So, the one thing that I believe, and I know for sure that we are pushing the BSc narrative, it's because sometimes people's matric results are not very good. So, their science marks, their maths marks are not that well. So. In doing science, you get another opportunity to do those modules again and then improve on them and then show medical schools that you can do better, you can achieve more marks and then by that way then you can get into medicine. But if you already qualify to get into medicine, I believe you don't have to do a BSc in order to get into medicine. You can do any other degree that you want. It is not what you study that matters, but the marks that you get in what you study that matters. So for example, for me, I believe that I could have done something else. I mean, my metric results were already good. So I did BSc because everyone was pushing the BSc narrative to me. And one of the most disappointing things that I saw and came across was the fact that in a class of 700 people doing BSc, I found that the majority of people wanted to get into medicine. and. In getting more research, I found out that the spaces to get into medicine from BSc are quite limited. It will be like 20 spaces and you guys are like 600 in class. So here you are, you are stuck in a field that you really don't want to do and now you have to perform in it in order to get into medicine. And sometimes you don't really enjoy the course as well because it's not something that you want to do. So you need to take that into account and to realize that you're not going to be the only person who's going to try to get into medicine. So how about doing something that you love, something that medicine, and then sometimes because you're not enjoying the course, the marks don't really come. And then now you're going to have to finish the degree because you need to understand that going into university, it takes a lot of uh, resources you need to find money to pay for your funding you need to find money to pay for your accommodation and sometimes you get funding in terms of a bursary and then your bursary might tie you to finish the course so you'll have to finish the course and then only then apply with those results so let's look at other alternative ways that you, in which you can um, get into medicine there's many degrees that you need to consider there's a lot of degrees in allied health sciences that you can do the only trick about those degrees is that you'll have to finish them whereas with bsc you can do bsc one and then apply into medicine but with other allied health sciences you'll have to finish them because they are selection courses and selection courses you can't really lift them incomplete and then go and do medicine so you can do always do bsc physiotherapy you can do dietetics you can do pharmacy you can do occupational therapy the nice thing about doing all those degrees even radiography is that once you qualify and you've done your comsef you can always low come low coming means that you are working part-time which means that when there is sports for you to work at night you can do that you can even study nursing i've we have people on our medical schools who have done nursing before and now are doing medicine. And those are the people who have a real advantage over many of us because they are working with patients on a day-to-day -day basis. Whereas BSc, you learn about science and then you get to medicine and you realize that medicine is a science on its own. And then the biggest thing that we push as people is that they will credit me. Maybe I won't do 
first year and second year, maybe I'll get into third year and then you get to medical schools and then you realize that medical programs now are integrated from first year. So meaning that you will have to start from first year. They might credit you one physics course here, one chemistry course there, but you will start from first year. So how about you do something that you love, something that you know that if you don't get into medicine, you can do it for the rest of your life. Because we need to understand that as people, the older we become, our priorities change. I have friends whom I started BSc with and then right now they have settled in science careers because they've realized that maybe medicine was not for them. Maybe it was just a dream that they had when they were younger. But because of other life commitments, now they have changed career paths. I have a friend who I started BSc with and then she left BSc when she when we were doing third year and then she started videography and then now she's a videographer and she's happy that she has settled. So imagine if he had started with videography from the beginning, she wouldn't have had to change midway into her BSc career. So I want us to broaden our view to see that you don't have to do medicine. We have people who've, who've done LLBs. You become a lawyer, you become an admitted um, candidate attorney and then you can always apply for medicine at a later stage. You can always apply for medicine from a BCom degree. Most people actually think that is not possible but it is, it is possible because you need to understand that the older you become um, the more mature you become the more better you become in handling stress so you'd find that the younger people sometimes it's not that medicine is difficult for them it's just that medicine is overwhelming you are expected to grow up so quickly so imagine when you come here from a become mindset you get here and then you start doing science you know how to handle pressures of become you know how to handle pressures of LLB and then when you get to medicine you realize that actually it's not even cause hard it's just content overload. You just have to keep up and study all the time. So those are some of the things that you need to take into account. The fact that you can do other things and then apply for medicine. And the thing is, I am not saying to you now that, no, go do a BCom, leave this career altogether. But if it's something that you really love, because I believe that as people, we are multifaceted people. You can love science and medicine so much, but you can also have another thing that really interests you and pushes you, like law and BCom, and you can do that. And then from there, come into medicine with that knowledge and then you'll see that you will thrive and then one of the things that I have come to understand is that BSc compared to medicine for me quite honestly my results might differ but I believe that BSc was more difficult than medicine in that in BSc they expected me to know concepts whereas in medicine they just want me to study theory and then give it to them as it is it's just that in science, there was something that was pushing me all the time to do so much better. I knew that I wanted to get into medicine, so even at night when I would be sleeping and was lazy to study, I'd always wake up and be like, I need to do this, I need to study. And now, one of the challenges that I also tend to see is that coming with another degree, it's very difficult to get funding into medicine. So imagine if I had done a degree that allows me to work part-time. That would have helped me quite a lot because I would have been able to work part-time and then that way I would be able to sustain myself. But now, with the science degree, it's quite difficult for me because all the jobs that require somebody who has a science degree, they expect you to be in the lab all the time. I cannot be in the lab all the time and be in the hospital and be at class. So those are some of the things that I wish younger me had um, taken into consideration when going into science. Which is, science is a great field. You will learn a lot. You enjoy it. It's something that really um, forces you to think out of the box. It's just that I don't want us to push this narrative to force people who don't love BSc that much to do BSc and to be stuck in BSc and to go through it for three years and then after three years you realize that you're still struggling to get into medicine and then now you became resentful in that and one of the things that you also need to take into account is the fact that people who did science don't get preference over people who did BComs over people who <clears throat> Okay, um, so I also got some questions that I got on Instagram that I want us to answer and then if there's any more things that we still need to discuss, we'll also go into them. So one of the questions says, will my application be considered for a biological science if I have first year at 
another university. The thing about biological sciences is that um, it's not a selection program in that if you can meet the minimum requirements and in this space you will definitely be taken. So courses like BSc they accept on average 700 students, 750 students so definitely if you meet the minimum requirements you will definitely be taken for it. So what are the final marks one should get at final year and the previous years? So um, there's not really a set point to say if you want to get into medicine these are some of the marks that you need to get. It only depends on the number, the number of spaces that they have and the quality of performance that their candidates is supplying. So if let's say that the students in that year are getting 80s averages then you'd also need an 80 to get in. If for that year a majority of people are in the 70s then you also need 70s to get into the program. But for me I would say that for you to stand a very good chance to get accepted definitely work to get 70s. Don't kill yourself trying to get into medicine. If you know that you know the person is going to get 80s, aim for 70s, do other things and then in that way you will show them that you are actually um, a multi-bounded person. Take part in things that are happening on campus. Leadership do it. Culture things do it because you will write a testimonial and then you will get people to write you some refer referral letters and then in that they will say what type of person you are. Um, and then this question says, how is the selection criteria at your institution and others if you know of, if you did your major in biology and biochemistry? Okay, at Stellenbosch University what happens is that for students who are currently studying, they only take their BSc students, BSc first year, BSc final year, honors, masters and PhD level, so they, form under, they fall under one category. And then for students who already have a degree and they've completed it and they are working, they usually take about 16 students from that pool, so we apply and then if you get shortlisted, they call you for an interview, if you pass your interview then you get offered a place. So if for on average they say that they want your weighted average to be at least 70%. Um, the next question, do you think having started with BSc, medicine is a bit easier? Um, I think medicine is not a bit easier because you did a BSc. I feel like because you are older now, you are more mature, you handle stress better, um, that's the only thing that helps you. In terms of content, sometimes I feel like you know what, I'm starting from scratch because some of the things that I did, they don't appear here. It's always nice when they do a genetic topic, when they do a molecular biology topic and I'm like, I did that. I can definitely ace that. But other than that, I feel like the playing field has been leveled. It's just that you are more mature. But you'll still face your stressors. Your marks are still going to dip. If you need to repeat some courses, you'll still repeat some courses. So doing a BSc doesn't really absolve you from failing. It's just that you come more mature. And then Ms. Kalewusula says, does it matter which degree you do if you want to get into medicine? It does not matter which degree you do. You can do absolutely any degree that you want to do. I know medicine, medical school will always look at your metric results to say, did you meet the minimum requirements in high school? If you didn't meet the minimum requirements in high school, try to get into a biological science degree so that then you can get better marks. But if you did then, go into any other degree, go study law, go study business, go become the best person that you can be because your passion will sustain you and if you do very well in those fields, Definitely they'll offer you a place in medicine, so it doesn't matter which degree you did before. And the next question says, how did you get funding? Well, I'm still looking for funding. <laughs> funding is, is, is one of those things that stresses you up, especially at the beginning of the year. So it's one of the things that I feel like um, our government can do much better in terms of supporting medical students because we can't really expect corporate businesses to give bursaries to us. Because if, um, let's say, APSA gives me a bursary, what am I going to offer APSA after finishing my degree? So what am I going to offer SASO? So it's some of those things. So our government, because they are the one who absorb us, absorb us into the health department, so probably they should do better in terms of supporting us and funding medical students. <clears throat> so Ngosi says, does doing a health science degree like OT physio help your chances, especially with good grades? Definitely. Not only that, but you get to work with patients, you get to build up your confidence in terms of working with other people, and then you need to understand that medicine is a team sport. So imagine if you've done OT, you've done physio, which means you've worked with doctors before.
for you know how they operate and you can always um, if you if you did your comsev yeah then you can always open your own practice on the side while you're doing medicine and you can do that so definitely it does give you a head start in terms of you can work and study you can low come you can actually work while you do medicine and you will also have built yourself up in terms of working with other people because one thing that science teaches us it teaches us to be in there to work on your own in the lab and then you get into medicine and you expect to work with other people and it is a mess <laughs> so if you guys have any more questions please do leave your questions below and then i'll definitely answer them in my next video i plan to discuss my journey in bsc some of the highs and the lows that i experienced and i'm also going to share my marks because that's that's some of the questions that people ask like how did you do in metric so i will definitely show you my metric results to say this is how i did my metric this and i'll also try to get my academic record from the ufs to show you guys that this is how i was doing in university i mean some years i felt like my marks were not so great so it's also going to show you that you don't have to really kill yourself trying to get into medical school but now before i leave you guys don't forget to like this video to leave your comments any questions that you have don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share it with your friends so that we can share this information with more people i believe that with sharing information with others then we become better if i win and you guys win and everyone's win and then we become better it would be so much better if everyone gets that opportunity to wake up in the morning and live their dreams so until we meet again do keep safe and see you in my next upload cool thank you